hope this works. And I just got a, I also got a written response for my uh, Sony conference video going, what do you have, what, what do you have against post-apocalyptic games? Everything. Magnetic that, malfunction, auto-fixing program, He probably initiated. does it. Look, even I'm sick of post That's not entirely true, Alex. <laughs> I, I don't hate post-apocalyptic games. I hate that there's too many of them. I hate that the, the market is fucking over, pardon my French, <laughs> fucking oversaturated with post-apocalyptic games. I still play some post-apocalyptic post games, and I'm fine with it. Okay, that warp and get back to Manjo. I mean, after all, we played The Last of Us, and I actually, people think I, well, I, that's because I say it a lot. I didn't hate The Last of Us completely, people. I did like the gameplay. I thought it was very solid. In fact, one of the things I did mention in my Uncharted 4 review, which just barely came out, is that a lot of the gameplay was very much inspired by The Last of Us. And for good reason. Okay, now warp and turn into the washing machine. I'm not. I'm not. So, it, again, it's not that I hate it, it's that it's oversaturated. Mm -hmm. It's everywhere. I don't know how many times we've gotten recommendations that were just Outlast. Um, Dying Light has gotten recommended a couple of times. All of these post-apocalyptic... Uh, Dead Island. All of these post-apocalyptic games. I'm just not interested. I'll, I still play the zombie games I like, people. I'm probably going to go play Resident Evil 7. There we go. And Andrea is giving me a look of either shut up about this or you're not even giving it a fair shot. Well, maybe give it some time. There's plenty of other ones you're doing at the moment, so. Yeah, this is probably also not the time to, to, to talk about that with me because I'm already stressed out enough as is. I'm trying to get everything out, including the backed up reviews that I'm still working on, so. I'm sure we'll consider it. Just probably not right off the bat. We don't want to drive um, Drac away from trying it at one point or another. The trailer already did that. But I think it'd be kind of actually kind of fun if we did it. You think so? <laughs> I don't. Sure. Probably, probably because you'll be at the driver's seat on that one. I'm pretty sure. Not just that. It's just like I'm done with zombies. Especially like World War Z type zombies, which is what it was. It's like where they're literally crawling over each other to for, to get first to you. floor, I think. What? First floor, oh, I think. Yeah. yeah. Unless we take a quick break before we take tackle the boss. Yeah, I got some time. No, we're good. Okay, I don't know. Let's see. What's the train station? Where's the AC plant? It's right by um, where the service elevator is, I think. Right down. No, not down there, but the I think. Quarters. Well, I think, isn't it right in between one of those little outlets? Somewhere. It's so hard to see because everything blends in. I thought it was really close by the service ele elevator where you just go down a ramp or something. Well, maybe. Oh, we did actually get an interesting uh, question in and, and feedback for Dragon Shadow. I'm actually going to bring this up because this is, this is something we were talking about earlier. So uh, somebody actually is asking, what is your favorite type of level? Type of level, huh? That is interesting. So like forest type of levels, swamp type of levels, forest levels, sewer levels, things like that. Mm -hmm. And, and they're talking more in the general sense, not necessarily it's right over there. I know it's in there. So, like, when, when you play a game, what is the one area that, that you love to see? Um, is it down there? For me, or... it's going to be either a forest or a jungle. Um, I always love those those settings. There's... In fact, um, I remember when I'm you... actually going to be doing this as part of the Summer of WoW. We're going to be doing, like, a top ten zones of World of Warcraft. Oh, yeah, because I remember when we were questing in WoW that a lot of the places you like going were the jungle or the forest mm -hmm. like my one of my favorites to this day is um and i've said this in the tale of drag foods it's, it's uh, eversong woods I, I think it's in there oh you're probably right 
So yeah, for me it's it's like the jungle or the jungle or the forest levels. And th there's a difference, people, because like a jungle can have a different feel than uh, just a temperate forest. It's true. Um, yeah, when I think of po forests, I think of like pine wood, and jungle, yeah. I think of like tropical. Yeah. Th so the yeah the the difference between them would be like one looks a little bit more hot and humid, one looks a little bit more um, Rocky Mountain, for lack of a better term, mm -hmm. or Canadian wilderness kind of thing. Um, Alex, your favorite level in a game. I actually really do like industrial levels and sky levels. So industrial like city levels too? Yeah. Okay. And sky, did you say sky levels? Yes. So anything like above the air or in the clouds kind of thing? Yes. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to give this character to you. Yeah, you're going to take this character. But you got to give him a British accent. A, a British accent? Yes. Okay. We'll, we'll try. Uh, my British is a little... Week. What on earth is that? I think it looks like an enormous toilet cleaner. Well, he doesn't seem to be very mobile. See how the poor thing struggles to get in here? It's a toilet snake. This shouldn't be much trouble then. I think you gave it to me because he has no lines. <laughs> he has lines. He just has to struggle to get in, first of all. Welder. Visually impaired welding torch. Ahem. I believe it states quite clearly in the workers' guidelines that bears are not to be let into the building. So? Well, you're a bear, aren't you? Er, uh, no. Joe, I'm... Joe, I must remember to wear my glasses. Well, I'm out now, so I might as well go to work on you. So like that? Yeah. There you go. Because apparently anytime I give British accents, they sound like Bakura. <laughs> Time to turn up the power dial, I think. You'll have to come closer. I can't see to hit you. <coughs> Please refrain from doing that. I'm full of flammable gas. How about a few nuts and bolts? Oh, oh no! God. Bad joke! Bad joke! No biscuit! It predicted nuts and bolts. It did. Which I loved, ukulele took a shot at. I'm trying to remember the joke that they actually made. By the, Was it in the trailer? Yeah. Uh, God, I can never... Shoot, I'm not in a position to do this. No. Wasn't it something about cars? Yeah. By then they'll have a car level. Oh, he ate me. Like, the bat, I think the bat may, bat is Lele, and she said, You can't trust this lot. By then they'll have a car level. Well, you can't trust prayer. I mean, Get ready to rare. shoot Nega, but you anything. That's not why they're not rare. They're platonic. Get ready yeah. to shoot Nega, but he's gonna... Or they'll ha or they'll have a pirate level. <laughs> I wouldn't mind a pirate level. There was after Perhaps treasure trove. Perhaps if I Kill. used my weight a little more. Don't make me come after you. <laughs> yeah, I'm like I'm like. He didn't bouncing go between her. American and British accents. That's, that's kind of how bad my British accent is. <laughs> oh, I missed. You gotta scoop away a little bit so well, you have more. Uh, is he actually, like, taking health away when he smashes you like that? Well, of course well, he is. Because I haven't seen your health bar come up. Well, it you has just haven't been paying attention. Whoa! 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 I'm paying attention. I have to watch for this guy's dialogue, don't I? Yeah, hey. Ouch. This isn't going as planned. Where's my emergency switch located? That's better. Now let's see how nimble you are. We're not talking about how refined he is, but more how nimble. 
To quote Michael Caine, it's not the size, mate. It's how you use it. He swallowed you. Ugh, come on. I totally got a shot off. Please don't tell me you're actually going to have to do a whole... We have to avoid him from falling with this electric light floor. Yeah. Crap. Boom! Ow. Just because I like saying boom. Hopefully they'll give you some help back. I think they will. Oh! That really was quick. Close up. Oh, damn it. That was right in your face. It's almost like this game was built for VR. No, no, it really wasn't. <laughs> that no. was that was really built. Can we just talk about how, like, the the focus on VR at E3, how it got a little boring? <laughs> I wouldn't like, know because I didn't watch any of the conferences. Well, then be thankful. Like everybody had to talk about it at one point. I mean, for crying out loud, when they had Minecraft out, they had to have John Carmack. You know, the guy who helped make Doom um, come out with an Oculus Rift, because that's what he's working on now. He's one of the major guys on the Oc Oculus. And then on on uh, Sony, we actually had a, have a, an entire VR lineup because their game or their uh, VR headsets coming out in October. Oh, you were bad. Yes, and you're at, and you're he heading for the recycling bin. Time to turn up the power dial, I think. Oh, you know what? He's recycling his lines, isn't he? Yeah. Well, let's not worry about that, shall we? You'll have to come closer. I, I can't see to hit you. God, I missed. Why did you miss, Alex? Oh my goodness! I know, it was three feet in front of me. I apologize for everybody's ears right then and there, because I actually banged my headset right into the mi mic. Please refrain from doing that. I'm full of flammable gas. How about a few nuts and bolts? Bad joke, no biscuit. Dude, it's before nuts and bolts. Take a chill pill. I'm more worried that this joke was interjected because of the Xbox revival. No, it's always been there. Okay. This is on Xbox. They wouldn't be making fun of themselves. Fuck! Actually, stay yes, they Stay away from him. I'm trying to stay away from him. He keeps sucking me up. Why won't you drop hell? All right, now, shoot from, like, a little further distance. I can't get... When it got me in suction, I can't get away. Perhaps if I used my weight a little more. I know, I completely said I was going to read these. Don't make me come after you! Well, they're repeated. You don't have to read them again. I know, that's the irony, is that I'm, I don't have to read them, but I am. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, and so... A friend of mine who watches Dragon Shadow just left a question. Yeah. Or rather, he left a question about a week ago. So how does Alex or how does Alex feel about Laura Bailey being the one doing the gameplay demo on the Microsoft conference for Gears of War 4? Oh, Thanks, good. buddy. <laughs> I wanted to drop this subject. You wow. guys won't let me. Yes, good. it just so happens that since Laura Bailey's part of the vocal cast for Gears of War 4, she was the one playing the gameplay demo for Gears 4. Yes, because now she does video games. She's too big for anime. We'll probably never hear her in front of Asian again. Fuck uh -oh. you, piece of shit. I would just be happy if I don't ever hear about the whole I'm Laura Bailey's personal stalker Fire. joke. Fire name. The pressure's on. You only got two health and he's got one. The heat is on. The heat is on. I think so not. Yeah, guys, can we please just drop the whole Laura Bailey thing? Do we not? Do we? Can we well, not just answer that? I wasn't what? gonna bring it up, but you keep sh say talking about it. Crap! Now you only get one hit. Well, I'm gonna die. Oh dang! You died. What the hell? Come on! Oh, for a second, I, got I thought my you shot actually off. got one fired off. Come on! I totally got my shot off there. I call it bullshit. Yeah, his his tank expanded. Yeah, that's fucking horseshit. Well, he, 
I think it swallowed both you and the egg at the same time. I'd still call him bullshit. Well, that's the thing, is if, you, if you're if you not, like, at least a square away... Well, I can't get a square away, because I don't know where he's going to be. And yes, as to how I feel about Laura Bailey, it's the same way I feel about all the voice actors I like suddenly being in games. It's like, great, I'll never see him in anime again. Now they graduate. It's like going into I don't games. Think that's is like entirely accurate. I think Laura's done some stuff since. I am not usually very minor stuff. Yeah. You know. I can like the last anime I can think of that she was in was K on the movie. So. Yeah, because she is in that. Mm -hmm. But it's um, like, you know, it's like they get they do games and they they graduate from anime. It's like, and then I never hear them again. And it's sad. So like basically, you want to call this Stephen Bloom syndrome? If yeah. you want to, you can use your feathers to avoid excess. This is actually this is confused or this is maybe curious. I'm gonna look this up because I, I can't believe that she would. Because I think she's still considered part of the Funimation stable. Use your talon. I mean, for crying out loud, Vic Mignogna is still considered that, and I don't think he's done anything in a long while. Yeah. I think he went to go fi focus on his Christian rock band. I have no idea. Something I, like that. But yeah, now that you mention it, I haven't really heard much from Vic in a while. We'll answer get all in the this corner. You guys. Get in the corner. Well, if I get in the corner, he's going to crush me. No, he's not. Usually, if he does that, he ends up falling from in the center. Uh, That's the best, your best strategy. If he's doing that jump, he's going to always fall in the center. And you have a better chance of surviving. No, she she's got some animation. It's just um, it's not anime. Exactly. It's uh, it's mainstream stuff. Well, she did Ruby, mm -hmm. which is kind of anime knockoff. Um, she yeah, but yeah, most of her credits right now are, are games. She's got Gears of War four. She's got Injustice two. Um. Critical role, she's in a TV series, I guess. Okay, get ready to fire an egg. And then obviously she had the uh stupid fucking zap thing floor. Fucking bullshit. But she's got the, uh, the, the controversial well, role close. in Uncharted. Head to the 4. Corner. Use your wonder wing. I thought he was gonna do it that time. No. Um, ah, why did he do it that time and not the time before? Oh, forget it. Alright, magic cut. Oh, wow. What? Well, I guess this makes sense. If she played Blaze in one other game, then, then that's okay. She, her, One of her most recent castings was Mario and Sonic at the Rio 2016 Olympic yeah, so Games. Yeah, I've mentioned before, she's Blaze the Cat now. Um... She's been Blaze Naruto the Cat Shippuden, since... Ultimate Ninja Stone 4. She's been Blaze the Cat since, like, Sonic Generations, I think. Um... Oh, she's in the Telltale Batman. She is... Oh, Selena Kyle. That's mm. perfect. Mm. Ultimate Spider-Man. Yeah, a lot of her stuff is just, uh, US animated stuff. Yeah, she's too big for... Us lowly anime fans now. I'm sorry, Alex. Come the hell on. Kinda, but not really. <laughs> Kinda, but not really. I'm glad that she's being that she's successful. I want her to be successful, sure. But okay. um, let's let's answer uh, Vic. Vic Vignana. And yes, I'm magic cutting this. Adam, future Adam, remember that. Oh no, he graduated up to TV series too. Um, and TV movies. Oh my gosh. He has also got a credit for Mario and Sonic at the Rio Winter Olympic Games. He's playing E123 Omega. Yes, like I said, he's been doing that role since Sonic Colors. That's such an upgrade for him. Um, Star Trek continues. 
When he does the second jump, head to a corner and get ready to prepare to fire. Is this what I think it is? So what? Okay, get it to a corner. I think Thick is in the new Star Trek series. Uh, I don't know, it might just be one of his fan projects. Because he's done fan work for Star Trek. I'm like... double checking right now. But yeah, because he's playing James T. Kirk. That that has to be a, a fan project. He's in Pokemon. Yeah. He's had like a couple roles in Pokemon, I Best think. Best thing to do is not jump like around in the circle as much. Like try and limit yourself to more than Don't jump over! I... Well if I don't, I'm gonna run into it. But you're well, even if you ran into it, at least you'd be away from him swallowing you. Okay, use your Wonder Wing and let them come to you. That way you can just eliminate getting hit so many multiple times. The problem is I get zapped, it throws off my animation. It... Okay, now get to a corner as soon as he does the second jump. Except now he's following me. Well, don't worry. Once he jumps again, he'll be gone. He's... Okay. Now get ready in your... Ooh there you go. See, you won't... You won't less likely boom! get into the... Pool. Oh, well. Looks like my welding days are over. Pip, pip, chinio, and all that. This does feel like a Rusty Bucket Bay 2.0. Except with death at the bottom, you just have some creatures living in the bottom. More lines for you, Evan. Adam, pay attention. Oh, sorry. Groan! I appear to be quite badly injured. That's too bad. Now where's our prize? Sigh, I guess I can let you have this. I want to envision that Is he's that out of all we now. get? You gotta be kidding. You may use it to get back out. I stashed my jiggy behind the giant fan for safekeeping. But there's nothing to stop you from reaching it now. No. When will I learn to keep my big mouth shut? Uh, not now. Because your big mouth is gaping open. It's a long ladder. It's very long. Very long. Funny how they named this Banjo Tooie, and you don't get much of Tooie in this game. Well, that's 2D, first of all, that you're thinking of. Oh, yeah. It's Tooie because it's like, it's yeah. a pun on the number two, get it? Well, yeah, I know that, but you would think you should be a little bit more involved. Ooh, there's some notes. But we can get that again. So yay, we got another Jiggy! We found another Jiggy! We got Jiggy Wiggy with it. Get your Jiggy on. Let's get Jiggy on. Let's get Jiggy on. What, too much? What the hell are you talking about? Let's get it on. Let's get the Jiggy on. There you go. Cause I, I grew up in the 90s. <laughs> where that was a thing. Yeah. Let's get it on. Yeah, that's like 90s jiggy lyrics with <laughs> 40s swing. Indeed. And too yet it was a thing for a while. <laughs> too much Captain America for you. Too much Captain America for me? Yeah. I'm sorry, sir, but there can never be enough Captain America. And no, not the Hydra agent bullcrap that we have been seeing for a while now. Don't care about that. That's that's pretty much the equivalent of Superman 
renouncing his citizenship or whatever the crap he does on a monthly basis. <laughs> I can't read Superman anymore. They've there done so many stupid things with him. on the side of the building. Right, there are. Uh, though, how are we on time, Adam? What was that? How are we doing on time? Uh, we are actually get, coming up on break time. Then so. uh, let's just call it here. I know yep. we didn't get much done. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. I know I'm, I can't play video games. I cannot be great speed runner, and I cannot be pro Gerard the finishist. <laughs> we're not saying anything. Alex is saying it. No, so we're going to go ahead and take a quick break. When we get back, we will continue on in Grunty Industries and Hailfire Peaks and all of the backtracking that we need to do to meet up with Grunty. In the meantime, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.